I strongly believe in the idea of Christians owning property. The world is better off with Christians in positions of financial strength, and cash-flowing property can do just that. My friend Steve has built a substantial real estate portfolio here in New Hampshire, and now he's teaching Christian brothers to do the same. Go to consultingbycurios.com. He's got options where he coaches you through buying your first rental property or done-for-you options for busy people. Again, visit consultingbycurios.com. The link is in the description. All right, everybody. Let me just say, I'll start off this way. Um, if you watched yesterday's video about the Antioch Declaration, um, let me just say two things. Number one, I apologize. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not going to say it was a waste of time, uh, but for probably the majority of you who watched it hoping to get something real, um, it was a waste of time. But number two, I, you can't say I didn't try to warn you. I did. I told you not to watch it. I even, even put a description in the video that said, you've been warned. So I did warn you, um, but you watched it anyway. And if you made it all the way to the end, um, I first of all, congratulations. You, you got through 15 minutes of ranting about New York sports. Um, all of that stuff was true, by the way. I did get a few people that were trying to find the hidden meaning in it. Um, and some people had some pretty good theories where it does kind of apply. But uh, I did not intend any hidden meaning. Any hidden meaning in the analysis of the Mets and Jets franchises uh, was purely uh, providential. But in any case, um, I did want to do the real video today. If you watched towards the end, you, you saw that I said I didn't think I was going to be signing the Antioch Declaration and I wasn't going to elaborate any further. Um, but obviously, I'm going to. So this is part of why I will not be signing the Antioch Declaration. Okay, so let me be as crystal clear as I can possibly be. Um, there is no chance uh, that I'll be signing the Antioch Declaration. And when I say no chance, I mean there's no possible way. No matter what happens, no matter what's said to me, no matter what people say about me, um, there's just no amount of pressure that uh, you could conceivably apply to me that will cause me to sign the Antioch Declaration. It's just not going to happen. Under no circumstances. It'll never happen. And I'm not, a, you know, obviously I can't see the future perfectly. In fact, if I did, I really would be batting a thousand. Um, but even though I'm not batting a thousand, I, I will say that my my slugging percentage and on base percentage is is good enough to be hitting uh, over a thousand according to OPS. So uh, I do pretty well. But but I, I'm not a perfect seer of the future, obviously. But uh, I can't conceive of a single way that I would ever be pressured into signing the Antioch Declaration. There's just absolutely no positive, absolutely positively. No conceivable way that I will be signing the Declaration of Antioch or the Statement on Racial Ideologies Threatening the Church. It's just not going to happen. So that's my answer. It's not ever going to ever. It's never going to happen. Bottom line, that's it. And there's many reasons. Um, and so, you know, obviously there's there's a few different aspects of this. And in my, and in my opinion, from my perspective, where I sit in my office— um, each of these three buckets of reasons would be enough for me to never in a million years sign the Antioch Declaration on its own. But when you combine the three together, um, it's there's just no possible universe. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I mean, I'm not. I don't believe in middle knowledge, but um, there, I've seen every possible universe <laughs> in my mind, and I just know that there's no possible universe uh, where. Adam Robles, you know what I mean, son of son of Mar Mario, Mario, Mario. Is it Super Mario or Mario? I, you know, I don't even know how to pronounce my father's name for real. I think it's Mario. <laughs> Mario. Yeah. Um, there's just no way that the son of Mario is going to be signing this declaration. I was raised uh, differently. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just as simple as that. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, uh, right now, I'm not going to get into the content of the declaration itself. 
But I just want to start off telling you that even if the content was perfect and I could agree with each of the statements in the in the content, there's no possible way that I would sign this declaration, even if the content was perfect, which it is not. It is not. And there's there, the content obviously is going to be a mixed bag, right? There's there's some of the affirmations and denials that I'm like, OK, that's great. I would definitely agree with that. And there's some, of course, that um, I don't agree with uh, as written. I cannot agree with every one of the affirmations and denials in this document. And at some point in the future, I'll explain why, including some of the spicier ones, like some of the ones about the Judaism and stuff like that. So we'll talk about those at some point in the future. That's not for today's video. And then there's some that are like, I agree with, but also it's just absolutely comical why they're there. And the fact that they're there, like, for example, the Aristotle one. I'm not an Aristotle guy myself, but I do know some Aristotle guys. And I read that affirmation and I agree with it on the one hand. So I don't have a problem with that content. But it's very existence in the document. I, um, it's, uh, it's, it's offensive. <laughs> it's not offensive to me. I'm not an Aristotle guy. But I feel like it's an insult to my intelligence. Now, I've got an IQ of 136. It's been tested. It's been tested. <laughs> now, before you get all crazy on me, oh, 80, so arrogant, talking about IQ, that's actually a quote from The Sopranos. That's what Tony says to Johnny Sack one time. I actually have not tested my IQ, although I do have uh, some preliminary, you know, kinds of evaluations that lead me to believe that uh, I'm doing all right. Now, let me put it that way. I'm doing okay. But there's some things in there that are just, they're laughable that they're in there, and it kind of reveals to me why this ex statement exists in the first place. And so we're, we'll talk about that, too. That's more of the, uh, that's not really the content bucket. The content bucket, I still wouldn't sign it. But then there's another bucket where it's like a kind of like a, a, a shrewd political maneuvering bucket. Um, and that's another reason why I wouldn't sign it, because some of the affirmations and denials, they, you know, for the for the casual observer who doesn't really know any of the context, they'd be like, well, yeah, I mean, of course I agree with that. But why is it here? It's just kind of clunky and weird. It doesn't seem like it makes any sense. And the Aristotle one is a perfect example of this. And so it, sh it shows the hand of the collaborators a little bit, um, uh, and I, I'm not going to participate in that uh, kind of nonsense. It's just not going to happen. I'm not a pawn uh, in this game here. So there you go. Uh, that's, those are two buckets and two reasons why I won't sign it. But what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the first bucket. The first bucket, and this is reason enough. Even if the content was perfect, even if the political maneuvering didn't exist, which it most certainly does in this document, but even if it didn't exist and the content was perfect, there is still no chance in any possible universe, I'm sure of it, that I would sign this Antioch Declaration. It just will not happen. It's not going to happen. Never. I'll never do it. And that is because of the timing of the Antioch Declaration, combined with the list of collaborators. Now, this list of collaborators, let's uh, go ahead and find it here. That's their words, not mine. It includes Dr. Joseph Boot, Reverend Jeff Durbin, Reverend Dr. Andrew Sandlin, James White, Reverend Doc Douglas Wilson, and Reverend Tobias Ryman Schneider. Now, this list of names might sound familiar to some of you. And I'm not just saying the names in isolation. Obviously, many people are aware of the existence of these people. But this name in a group together might sound pretty familiar to you. And the reason why it sounds familiar is because this is the exact group that Tobias, in his uh, Zoom call that was recorded that he didn't know was recorded. This is the group of men that he named in order to pressure Joel to uh, mismanage a church uh, discipling issue in his own church. This is the alliance against Joel that we have since been told actually doesn't exist. There is no alliance against Joel. That's what we've been told. But funnily enough, 
Dr. Tobias, or maybe he's not Dr. Reverend Tobias, told us about the Alliance, and it included the names that are listed as collaborators on the Antioch Declaration. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that there is an open controversy currently between Reverend Tobias Ryman Schneider and Joel Webin. That controversy has not been resolved yet. And we keep hearing, oh, just wait. There's going to be an epic response by Tobias Ryman Schneider. And maybe I've heard it's going to happen on Monday. Maybe it's going to be Monday. Maybe later, but it's coming. Don't worry, just wait. Sit down, shut up, and wait. And I, personally, I can't wait to see what this guy comes up with next. I mean, I am waiting with bated breath. I, I cannot wait because it's going to be great content for me. Because I, I, I know that it's going to be full of nonsense. Unless he pulls a 180 and just apologizes for the first video he put out that was full of lies and nonsense. So much so that it was deleted from the internet within a day because it was full of lies. So they're trying again. The response is coming. And it's pending. And we're told, wait! We're told, wait! Don't say anything! How could you do this? We wait! Let us get another haymaker in before you say anything. You don't know what you're talking about. That's what we've been told. But of course, the waiting only happens on one side. That, that, that's, th this, this boggles my mind. I, I know guys, some of you guys have been telling me this for six years. And I've, I've seen the comments, guys. You know, I've, I, I haven't really responded to them too much, although I've referenced them numerous times. You call me naive. You say I'm a little too optimistic. I'm too willing to look overlook things, things like that. And I got to say, you're right. I'm guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. And that's something that I think that's a deficiency of mine. You know, I used to look at that and say, look, you know, I'm going to. I'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt. And I think that's a good impulse. I'm not saying that's not a good impulse. It's a good impulse. But eventually, enough's enough. Eventually, you got to just accept reality. So apparently, the waiting only applies on one side. They can put together this de declaration. And they'll tell you, oh, you know, it's, it's not about Joel. It's not about this. But why would you think that? Why would you think it's about Joel? I mean, I know the collaborators of basically every person was referenced as, uh, as an alliance against Joel by Tobias. I, I understand, but it's not about him. I, I get it. It's, it's all about the same issues, but I mean, not really. Look, we didn't even name him. The fact that five men, one, two, three, four, five, six, six men. I, I have a hard time seeing with these glasses on. They're polarized. <laughs> so <laughs> I can count. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> the fact that six men, some of which I, 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 I greatly respect, I know they're intelligent, some of which I don't really know that well. So they might be intelligent, they might not be. I don't know. And some of which, I, one of which I have absolutely zero respect for, but I've heard he's intelligent. I'm dumbfounded. I, call me naive, call me whatever you want. I am flabbergasted, shocked. Like, I, I, like, I'm so surprised that six men gathered together, considering all that's gone on, everything the last few weeks has revealed, every, t every move that's been made. And they got together and they said, this is the time for this. This is the time to release this document. While we have an open pending conflict where uh, we've got, we've got a, a video that's been removed from the internet because it was so full of lies and people proving over and over again that th this guy has just been dishonest. He's got it out for Joel for whatever reason. Who knows? Like, let's just release it now. They got together and they thought, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. You think... Uh, there's, there's not a strong enough word in the English language to, to, to describe how surprised I am that this kind of a strategic mistake was made. But maybe it's not a mistake. Because there's a cynical side of me that thinks this was intentional. You would think 
a declaration like this would, would seek to be a unifying type of a document, something that they feel like we can all agree on and stuff like that. And to put this out at this time when there's a pending conflict, a pending personal issue with one of the members that collaborated to sign this declaration and to think that that would somehow be unifying. I, I've seen some people that I like that have said, I think AD would sign this. I'm flabbergasted. Even if the content was perfect, I would never sign this at this moment. Not a single piece of me is tempted to sign this. It's almost to the point where I see this statement come out while there's this pending issue against Joel, and I almost don't even want to read it. It's like, why would I read further? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Tobias Reimerschneider? I'm shocked. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm completely floored by this. Th th this kind of a strategic error. But again, maybe it's not an error. Maybe this wasn't intended to be a unifying document. Maybe this is a wedge. Maybe they're trying to draw the wedge. I mean, after all, Tobias Reimerschneider did say that there's an alliance against Joel. And by the way, I've said this before. I'll say it again. It's not just Joel, although it's very personal. It's Joel, it's Eric Kahn, it's Brian Sauve, it's Ben Garrett, it's guys like me. It, you know, it's, it's, it's a, this group. It's a group. Steven Wolf to some degree. Isker. You would think this would want to, and I've seen people say that this, is, this should have been a unifying document. Yeah, maybe it could have been. Maybe. I don't think so, based on the content. But let's just go with that. Six guys sat in a room and didn't think, maybe, hmm, you know, Tobias's epic response is coming on Monday. What if we just wait a week? Let's just wait a week. Maybe we'll wait a couple weeks just in case Tobias, you know, give him some time. He's a busy guy, you know, his laptop died. You know, he needs some time. Let's wait. Let's let let's let's get the epic response out to show that Tobias actually is a good guy, and then we'll put out the document. Nah, nah, nah. Let's just let's just go with it. And then at the same time, while we're just going to go with it, J James, fire up the camera and tell all these idiots out there, just wait. Sit down and shut up. Like, what? What is going on here? <laughs> what? What is going on? I'm taking these off. I can't, I can't read anything. I'm flabbergasted. Floored. Shocked. Uh, like, I don't understand. I don't know what uh, what else to say. I, I can't believe that nobody put their hand up and said, "Wait a minute, guys, hold on a second. I'm all for the Antioch Declaration, but maybe we just wait. Maybe we just wait." <laughs> I'm shocked. How could anybody think that this at this time? This was a good idea. It, it, it's unbelievable. Un-freaking believable. And, and on that alone, on that alone, there's no way I will ever sign this document. There's no freaking way. And of course, as I've said, Assuming the content was perfect and there wasn't an obvious political maneuvering happening here. Assuming that those things were the case, which they're not. There's obviously problems with the content in addition to the obvious political maneuvering that's happening. I'd still never sign it. There, there's, just, there's no shot. No chance. I won't even consider it. Based on the fact of the timing. As there's an open, pending problem that has not been resolved, that has not even been really adequately addressed. We're being told to wait. And this is why you don't listen to your opponent when you're in a conflict. Because they're going to tell you to wait while they're planning, while they're acting, while they're doing stuff. You don't li like like if you're in a football game, you don't listen to the defense and say, the, de the defense says, listen, we're going to put our, uh, you know, our nickel package out today, uh, right now. So, so you know, just want to let you know, we're going to put our nickel package out. And it's like, what? 
I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I think I need to do. Oh, brother. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to be respectful here, but I, I'm, sh I'm shocked that not a single man here just didn't think, you know what, let's like, let, you know, let's not do this <laughs> yet. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it next week. Let's do it next month, whatever. Not now. Not while, the, not while this, uh, this a pending issue here. And if we're going to do it, take Tobias's freaking name off. Take him off the collaborator list. Like, like that's the least you could do. Because it'd still be a mistake if, if, you, if, you, if you launched it while there's this pending issue. And Tobias was maybe, you know, a lesser signer. He wasn't a collaborator. It would still be a mistake, but at least you did something. How else do you interpret this besides a freaking middle finger? A middle finger to everybody that didn't buy Tobias's lies and his video that was chock full of lies, so much so that it was deleted from the internet after a day because it was so full of lies. This is a middle finger. And I'm not in the habit of, you know, teaming up with and, and, and cozying up with people giving me the finger as they're doing it like i'm not gonna give myself the finger i mean what what, what do you think is what do you think that's gonna happen here what did you think was gonna happen that we're gonna be like oh yeah that, per, that content's oh, i can agree to that sure knowing the context that this was created in and again that's assuming the content was great which it is not but we'll get to that we'll get to that I, I, I really, I cannot think of a strong enough word to describe how shocking this is. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody can come up with a word. It's just, um, I don't know, man. I like, like, I hope this is clear. There's absolutely no chance that I'm going to sign this document. There's just no chance. Never. It will never happen. And it doesn't matter what anyone says to me, what anyone thinks about me, what anyone says about me. It's not going to happen. For this reason, and also so much more, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But I did want to, you know, let you go into the weekend just without any cliffhangers. You know, I yesterday's video, I was trolling, obviously, um, but you know, you, you know, you don't come to the 80 Robles YouTube channel not expecting a little bit of trolling. This one is more serious, um, but uh, I just wanted everyone to know without any equivocation. Um, that that A.D. Robles' name will not appear on the signer's uh, list of the Antioch Declaration at any point in the future. It just will not happen. And if you see it there, it's somebody trolling because I will definitely never sign it. I will never sign Now, I'm not going to tell you not to troll. You do what you want to do. You want to put my name up there and see if it gets through. Um, that's fine. And I will every single time I see it, I will tell them to delete it because I do not want my name associated with this document. Not in any facet, any way. My name will not be on this document. In any case, I hope you found this video helpful. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Lord's Day. Go out there and just enjoy the freedom we have. The freedom we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you found this video helpful. God bless.